Hi everyone, I welcome to all of you in today's video. Today I am going to discuss the topic who owns Parler and in this video I will also talk about the popularity of this question in countries like United States, Canada and Australia. So guys do watch the video till the end and stay tuned while I share every important detail regarding it with you. Also, do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel as it will motivate us to make more such informative videos for you. Now, let us talk about it further. According to the LinkedIn page, Palo co-founder Matt has a background in software engineering including a three-month stint at Amazon Web Series in 2017. Mats has a degree in computer science from the University of Denver, the profile says. Thompson, who is listed as the Chief Technology Officer and Backend Software Engineer at Parler, worked at CarePix between 2016 and 2018 after three months at a firm called Travelport. He too has a University of Denver computer science degree. It remains unclear how Parley will enforce its own community guidelines which say that accounts could be terminated for copyright infringement. Users must agree to avoid spamming support for terrorist organization, unsolicited ads, defamation, threats to harm, blackmail, pawn, obscenity, intellectual property theft, doxing, criminal solicitation and plagiarism according to the Parley guidelines. Parley may remove any content and terminate your access to the services at any time and for any reason or no reason, although Parley endeavors to allow all free speech that is lawful and does not infringe the legal rights of others, the rules say. For now, it remains to be seen how strict enforcement will be or if the account holders will adhere to similar rules they previously violated on mainstream. While searching the question who owns Parley, we found the information that the platform's owners will take a similar approach to enforcement as Facebook or Twitter. Recently, the company released a declaration of internet independence urging people to abandon Twitter using the hashtag TweeExit. An open letter fumed Twitter once pledged to be a public square where all peaceful voices were promised respect and equal right to be heard. The people propelled Twitter to a position of a great prominence. But absolute power corrupts absolutely and Twitter has proven no different they are now merely a publisher it added. This week responding to media criticism on the platform Matt's praised Coverage from Infowars, the conspiracy fuel site, spearheaded by radio host Alex Jones. The owner said, I am not upset by their fake news. This is a sign that we, the freedom-loving people, are winning. We are winning because they are resorting to throwing a tantrum because those they politically disagree with have a voice again. According to the App Store, Parley is currently the second most popular download in the news category. It has more than 1 lakh downloads via the Google Play Store. Guys, I think uh, till now you would have got the answer of who owns Parley. So what do you think about this platform? Let us know about it in the comment box below. Also, we read all your comments over every video, so keep commenting. Please like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We advise you to be informed and be safe. Thank you for watching the video and have a beautiful day.